Hi, Yellow Belts. Now it's time for us to work on our self-defense moves so that we can move up and earn our third black stripe. Go ahead, find a partner to work with so that we can work on the self-defense move. I'll be working with Miss Stephanie. Face your partner. Ready, teddy up. Kune, show respect. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna be playing the role of the big scary bad guy today. So parents, if you're helping out at home being the attacker, the first attack is gonna be that one-handed wrist grab. Students are gonna do the V up, step back, sidekick. Let's do a quick review. Ready, set, go. Aya! Aya! All right, let's do it again. Notice Miss Stephanie makes the V, her hand comes up, grabs the attacker's wrist, and then she fires off that front leg sidekick. Ready, go! Aya! Aya! Very good. Now we're gonna go on to number two. That's the double hand grab from the back. So Miss Stephanie, if I could have you turn around, please. I'm gonna grab her shoulders. She's gonna put her hand up, cross her foot, and she's doing the scoop, and then that punch underneath. Ready? Aya! Aya! Very good. Let's do it again. Notice that her hand goes way up and it stays up while she's turning. That's very important. Ready? Aya! All right, excellent. Now we're gonna go on to number three. This is the last one, the most difficult one. I'm gonna come up behind her and give her a, uh, put my arm around her like I'm trying to choke her. She's gonna extend that arm straight in front of her. She's gonna make sure my palm is up and then she's gonna bring my arm down while she brings her elbow, or uh, sorry, her shoulder up. That's gonna put that pressure. Oh, it's gonna hurt my elbow. So here we go. Attackers get ready to do the choke from behind. Go. Aya! Arm is straight, palm up, and ooh yeah, tap, tap, tap. Oh man, that was a good one. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Ready? Get set, choke from behind. Go! Aya! Arm straight, and she's putting that pressure. Very good. And remember, if you're practicing at home, make sure that you let the person know if they're getting that arm lock into the right place by giving them either a tap or saying, okay, that's enough, I feel it, please stop, okay? If you're the person doing the defense, always do that movement very, very slow. When we're putting pressure onto somebody's elbow, it doesn't take very much pressure to really hurt their elbow, so we have to do it very slow application, more and more and more, until they say that it's enough, okay? Slow and steady, don't jerk it. Now, if we are in a situation where we really needed to defend ourselves, then of course we make it go really, really fast and be able to get out of that situation quickly. So today I want everyone to focus on your first movement of each of these defense movements. So the first one, when I'm doing that wrist grab, I want you guys to work on making a quick escape by stepping away and pushing your hand up. So Miss Stephanie face this way. So she's gonna quickly shoot her hand up, just like that. And notice that she's putting that pressure right at the point where my wrist bends. If she puts that pressure here, it's not gonna really work that well. She wants to put that pressure right on my wrist. So again, I do the grab, and then she's gonna shoot that pressure up, grab, and step back. And we're just gonna work on that part real quick. So I do the grab, hand up, shoot. Yeah, there you go, very good. Now even faster, as soon as somebody grabs you, boom, your hand is already shooting up. Ready, set, go. Huh. Ooh, yeah, don't mess with Miss Stephanie because you never know, I got it, all right, she's got it. All right, excellent. Go ahead, do a little bit of extra practice, really focus on that first movement, trying to see how fast you can make your reaction time, and then we'll get back to practicing next week. See you guys then.